ABC's move from the number three network to the number one network only took two girls who work in a factory, four guys who hang around a malt shop, an alien from Ork, and the man who created them, the king of sitcom, Gary Marshall. You need about 21 million people to make a hit. So the closest we figured out is you get seven million with laughs, just laughs. You can grab about seven million. And then you get another seven million with warmth and heart and nice and crying, although there's another seven. And then the third seven you get with interesting and intelligence and fascinating and things you don't see any other place. That's the hardest seven million. But uh, some people think just you can get it all with just laughs, and they only get seven million and they go off the air. Goodbye, gray sky, hello, blue. There's nothing can hold me when I hold you. You feel so right, you can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all day long. What I couldn't figure out because I was doing comedy is how I can do a realistic comedy about young people today and avoid drugs and avoid the, the sexual revolution because I know they wouldn't put that on television. So I said, why? I'm going to write this. They're going to censor it. What the, what's the use? It's not real. People are going to watch and say, baloney, that isn't life. That's not what happens. And it finally, then it crossed my mind, how can I beat this? And I said, ah, I can do it. Uh, if I push it back, if I push it back in time, if I push it to 50s, the fact that I'm not doing drugs, I'm not doing uh, sex things, then the audience will buy it. They will say, yeah, that's right. It's not today, but uh, yeah, no, that's when it was. From the top, TV. Oh, yeah, please. We have a cue light. Come on, guys, let's go. I'm Randy. Hi, Randy. And I'm Candy. I'd really like to stay in chat. Uh, I really got to get going. Uh, hold it. Hey, you haven't seen the best part. And then you got to giggle. giggle. <laughs> hey, that's amazing. Can I try that? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. All right. Well, besides, I got to get on this job interview. And we got to do this tomorrow night. All right. Hey, what a job interview, what? Yeah, you, 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 they're like two people, one person. Right. So you kiss one person. Yeah, with spoons. Yes, that's much better. You know, that's much better, Cherry. So it's like All one right. person. I get to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get going. Hold it, hold it. Get over here. You haven't seen the best part. Watch this. You got to do something when you know it's you. Ooh. I get to do it again. <laughs> I sometimes get to play the dark side, of course, but I have to tone it down, but that you have to do for television on the networks at this moment. I, I sometimes have the fantasy of wiping the Fonz out of everybody's imagination in the world. I mean, if a kid is drinking from his mug, just go, Boop, the mug is gone. And then coming back and doing a feature film, an adult film with the Fonz, because I know him so well. Holy, holy, you haven't seen the best part. Watch this. Ugh. <laughs>